Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. While browsing the internet, we will come across numerous UPS power bank designed for Raspberry Pi boards. However, I have discovered that many of them are not genuine. A significant number face power failure issues while others lack an adequate battery management system circuit. Additionally, several boards have problems with balance charging and battery protection mechanism. This issue is solved by the Pi Power Kit from Sunfounder. This UPS power supply for Raspberry Pi offers a comprehensive UPS solution for Raspberry Pi 3 and 4. The kit includes a Pi Power board, a 2000 mAh battery and all the necessary assembly accessories. In this tutorial, we will unbox, assemble and test the Raspberry Pi UPS power bank from Sunfounder. We will also write a sample Python code to send the battery status data to the Blink server. The Blink server will show the status of the battery. It will show the USB power, battery charging and sufficient charge status while the battery is charging. It can also give the indication of a low battery alert. So let's begin this awesome tutorial. This video is sponsored by Altium 365. The Altium 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, AMCAD, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your project over a way for review purposes. Interact with mechanical designer for mechanical design. It also provides centralized cloud storage. It helps you with components management as it has the fastest search engine. It can also allow your team to work together on a single product. Finally, you can send your design to a manufacturing unit. To get started with a free trial, check the first link in the description. Welcome back again. For this tutorial, I am using Raspberry Pi 4 board with a 32GB SD card. The power consumed by the Raspberry Pi board is variable depending upon the task performed by it. It requires a power of 5V with a current rating of 3A most of the time. Generally, we use a USB adapter to power this Raspberry Pi board. Most desktop computers have a USB supply for a backup. Each Raspberry Pi is a mini computer too, it needs a power backup too. So this is the perfect backup device. This backup device is called as Pi Power and has a battery backup of 3 to 4 hours. We will check this now. Let's first unbox this and find out what is inside this box. Inside this box, we have a Pi Power PCB board, a 2000 mAh battery, some connectors, an acrylic case and stands. Let's see this Pi Power PCB first. The kit provides features of a battery management system with constant power to run your Raspberry Pi smoothly. The four LEDs are used as a battery indicator. And this side LED is a power indicator. These I.O. pins can be used to monitor the battery status and can be connected to the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. The switch will turn on and off the battery power. Here, you can connect an external battery in case you want some more power. This port is used to connect a 7.4V lithium ion battery that comes with this kit. Then we have a Type-C USB port for battery charging. The charging is indicated by this LED. Finally, there is a Type-A USB power output to power the Raspberry Pi. The assembly process is so easy. You can follow this instruction manual and easily assemble the kit. It only took me 10-15 minutes to assemble this kit. The Type-A to Type-C USB cable is used to establish a connection. I have soldered a GPIO header onto the Pi power board to make the use of its battery monitoring pins. In order to monitor the Pi Power battery with Raspberry Pi, we need some GPIO connection to the Pi Power kit as indicated here. Now let's monitor the battery. For that first, you need to set up the Blink app. I created 4 data streams to monitor 4 different status of battery. Then I set up the dashboard. 
The dashboard has four LEDs indications linked to virtual pins V0, V1, V2, and V3. This LED indication indicates battery charging, USB power sufficient charge, and a low battery status. Finally, I created a device named Battery Monitor. The authentication token is generated, which is used in the code. So the blink setup part is done now. Now let's move to the coding part. Currently, I am accessing the Raspberry Pi using the VNC VR. The first step we need here is to install the blink library for Python. Go to the terminal and paste the following command. Then hit enter. The blink dependencies will be installed. As you can see in the file manager, a folder called blink is here. Now go to the Tony IDE and copy the code that I have provided in the website article. The code detects the battery level using the high low status of the device pins. Then the data is uploaded to the Blink server. From this line, we need to change the authentication token. You can get this token from the Blink dashboard now. Run this code. The Thony will show the following message when the battery is not charging. It will show the battery is not charging and no USB power is detected. If the battery charge is sufficient, it will show sufficient charge. You may observe the same data on Blink dashboard. When the battery is charging through USB power, it will show the following indications. When the battery is low and in discharging state, the red lamp indicator will turn on. You may unplug and plug the battery charger to observe the different lamp indications. Similarly, you may set up the Blink Mobile dashboard and observe the same thing. That is all from the video part today. You can purchase this Pi Power Kit from Sunfounder. The complete link for code and other details about the board has been updated on the How to Electronics website article. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.